Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to cover how we place the walls on the veranda, how we deal with the veranda. So this is Revit architecture and I like to model the walls on a simple veranda. So before I start to teach, I kindly ask you to like this tutorial and to subscribe to my channel it helps me a lot and so what you do is you come here click all or architecture pick any basic wall like this one and for now I'm picking all extended if I pick this wall after picking it I go click edit type duplicate now it's not my new wall name it click ok then I click edit I like my wall to be with material which is brick common here and the thickness should be 230 because it is an external wall so if I come here I just click 230 and after writing 230 click ok click ok again now I like to go for a simple shape like that a rectangle um like that then i would like to place my veranda in front of this like this so i will go for a line click here click there click there and come back there so before i will start to model on the veranda the first thing that i need to do is i would like to put the dimensions of this small house which is four by three meters so if I click here I get the dimension for that side but if I click here I get this dimension and I change it to 3500 then press enter now I also want to change this dimension so if I click it I want it to be 1.2 meters something like that so I was supposed to have locked that so let me lock this dimension first so that does not change this is 3500 let's enter now I click then I lock this dimension after locking this dimension I want to put the dimension on the top part so what I actually do is I change the size of this dimension which is 3000 and I put 2000 the front part is 2000 something like that then I change this dimension again put 1500 so I supposed to lock this dimension so that I avoid inconveniences right so this side i'm left with this side i also need to put 1500 so if i press enter and click here to lock this dimension <sighs> then i have drawn my walls and if i can go to 3d you can see that my walls are quite taller because i have not yet placed the levels and remember i always say that you need to create levels and in order for you to create levels you need to go to one of your elevations so i'm now into my east elevation and as you can see i have this zero i have this zero level level zero which is my ground level and i would like to change it to it's in zero then i would like to rename it then name it ground level this is ground level this this i have named this to ground level my first level then i also like to name this change this height now to the maximum height of a building which is 2700 then press enter then i would like to put this as roof level it's now roof and i also want to place another level 
here so if i click on level click from this side put another level then this is the level that i'm going to place the veranda so i would like to name it veranda veranda at click yes then here i like it to be on 2.4 1400 something like that so i have created my levels just for now so what i actually need to do is to select all the walls and play and attach them to the top so if i select all the walls like this come here to the top constraint the maximum top constraint is roof level then i apply you should note that my building is now smaller and if i can check to 3d I can easily see that my building is now attached to the roof level so i would like to work with the front so that i get to remove the unwanted part of the veranda so i can either change it in 2d, in 2D being in here or i can change it in 3d but i like to change it in 3d so that it becomes clear so if I click the front wall, which is this one, come here to its properties, I should find its base, base constraint. Then I change it to veranda level. Then I apply. Should note not that my wall now is starting uh, from this veranda level up to the top constraint, which is the roof level. So the same I get to do to this wall. If I click it, click the base constraint, click and add it to veranda something like that and lastly this wall change the base constraint to veranda and click apply should note now that i have actually suspended all my walls so it means that in order for me to finish up my veranda it's either i'm going to pick a column here at ground level and you can see if i am on ground level I, you can see nothing there because my my veranda is starting at veranda level so i can even start over here on veranda double click here and you can see the walls that are there so in order for me to highlight i can even come here click column column architecture and use this one the rectangular 4 by 4 450 by 450 come with it here let me double click and now we have my column i can click there click there again then right click cancel right click cancel then if i go to 3d should check that my column is now smaller and if i click it then come to base constraint click it to veranda to ground level apply should note that my my column is grown and it is starting down if i click this one again come here to the to hit base constraint and click, click ground level uh, should know that i have placed the two columns and the two columns are actually starting there so i can go for an alignment so that these lines get to align by clicking a l click this line and this line i think i should align on ground level oh i can't see anything there let me go to veranda level right align al click this line and this click this line again this line again and this one and this one and this this one again this so it means the column that i've used is too big but you can see it now makes sense if i go to 3d you can see that uh, it is now a stretch line from the outside and that's how we get to work with the veranda. I hope this has helped you. So what you need to know is how to place the base constraint of everything and attach your walls, change the walls that are in front you need to place on the veranda on another wall. I hope you enjoyed this video. I uh, hope you have a good day. May God bless you. Uh, remember to like this tutorial and to share to others as well as to subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot. May God bless you. Have a good day.